Hey guys, today I have a super quick tutorial for you showing how to set up ChatGPT to make phone calls for you. I'm calling to ask if you'd be interested in having lunch with Liam next Monday in Dusseldorf. Yes, we're going to be using an AI calling service and connecting that to a custom GPT so that we could tell ChatGPT, hey, here's this phone number, can you please call them and do this? It's going to be able to reach out and reschedule an appointment or create an appointment or ask them a question or confirm something. So really cool, let's jump into it. So to start things off, you're going to need a ChatGPT Plus account it's going to allow you to create your own GPT. So if we go to the Explore GPTs tab here, create a new one. I'm going to call this one my AI phone assistant. Make this calls on my behalf. For the prompt, I'm going to paste in the one that I've created for this video. It's quite a complex one, but you guys are going to be able to get it on my free school community down below. So you can sign up to school. You'll be able to find it the YouTube tab and find this particular video. And there'll be this prompt and everything related to this video will be available there. So once we've got the prompt in there, it's basically just saying that you are my personal AI assistant. Your main role is to make calls on my behalf to restaurants, families, businesses, etc. In order to successfully make a call, you need two things, a phone number and a clear objective from the call. Depending on the objective of the call, make sure you've collected sufficient information from me so that you can actually successfully complete the task. So it's supposed to take in a phone number, take in what I'm trying to do on the phone number, say call this person and do this. And then if it has any questions, it will ask me for any more information that it thinks it needs to complete it successfully. I have a conversation starter is call someone for me. Uh, we can leave web browsing on. I don't think we'll need image generation. Then we get to the real meat and potatoes of this thing, which is to create a custom action that using bland AI. So next step is to go to bland.ai and create an account if you haven't already. What we're trying to do within our GPT is to take this send call capability that bland AI has to send an outbound phone call and pull it into our GPT so that our chat GPT, our custom GPT, can fill out the information for us. So here you can see on the right, it might be a little bit technical for some of you, but stay with me. In order to successfully make an outbound phone call with Bland AI, we need to fill out some of this data here that you can see on screen. So we need a phone number, we need the task, and we need the from, etc. So these variables are what we're going to be filling with our GPT on the other side every time we want to make a call. When you're on Bland itself and you fill out this information here and then click send call, we're going to be taking this exact same functionality by getting the GPT to fill out this form, essentially, and send a call using Bland's API. The process of converting this into the open API schema that is required to provide it as a tool with a new GPT is the tricky part, but I've done this off camera for you, so it'll be available on the school community as well. If you want to copy that and just paste it in here, and I can take you through it roughly, a quick overview of what we're doing here. So this is the Bland API, and we're providing a URL that our GPT is going to be able to call. And then we have a bunch of the variables that we need to pass in. The schema has two different functionalities. Firstly, it allows us to initiate a phone call. So send off that information. Okay, I want to call this person and I want to do this, which we've just gone over on the bland documentation there. But it also has the ability to retrieve a transcript of the phone call. So after the call has been completed, we're going to be able to take that same phone call ID and say, hey, what actually happened in that phone call? Tell me what happens so that I'm on the same page. If we scroll down a little bit further, you can see the properties that are required to initiate a phone call. So Obviously, we're going to need a phone number that we're going to be calling. And then most importantly, we have the task, which is the purpose or objective of the phone call. Now, this is the most important part for us because we're going to need to get the GPT to, based off our instruction saying, I want you to do this. It's going to need to generate a task, a big prompt to send away to this phone call, to, to send away to Bland in order to actually successfully execute what we want it to do. Before we jump into the nitty gritty of getting the task prompt coming out correctly, we need to finish off creating our action here. To provide our authentication to use the Bland API, we need to head back to Bland, go down to our account down the bottom. We go API keys, API key. We can copy it, head back to ChatGPT, click on the cog next to authentication, go API key, paste in your API key, and then click on custom. And we need to enter authorization. And with that, we can click save. And then we've set up our Bland AI tool. We can go back. Let's give it a little, uh, DALI generated image. We are almost ready to give this thing a spin now, but I want to take you back to the instructions here to show how we are instructing the GPT to correctly create the prompt or the task that we're sending off for every call. So as I mentioned, the bland calls, the outbound calls that we make with bland require a task variable that is going to be the full prompt of you are a this, your job is to do this, um, you are supposed to be reaching out in order to book an appointment with this, etc. So the instructions need to go into the task section. And what I've done this is based off the bland documentation itself. If you go to documentation here, and the AMHLB prompting guide. All of this documentation here is something that I use in my voice agents regularly. It is a very good structure and way of laying out to get these things working correctly. So if you want to take a look at this, it's available on the documentation, but I've taken everything from this and I've converted it into a prompt that's going to allow our custom GPT to generate these kind of specific prompts every time it sends a phone call. As you can see down here, I've got creating task prompts using this strict AMHLB method. 
And down here, it explains how the task prompt should be structured, gives an example script. You can head down and get that from the school community if you're looking to follow along. But this prompt is really the most important part of this build alongside the open API scheme that's available on school as well. Right, so now we're ready to give this thing a spin. So, hi, can you please call someone for me? It's asking for the phone number, who I'm going to be calling, and then the specific objective or message they'd like me to convey. Wait, say, can you please call my business partner, Josh, and ask him if he wants to do lunch next Monday in Dusseldorf around 12 p.m. would be good, but if I am flexible within an hour each side, I can only do Monday. Oh, it's going to ask the phone number. Also, is there a specific place in Dusseldorf that you'd like to go for lunch? So I can say, yeah, Elmo's uh, bakery is good and his phone number is. Right, so now I should be able to get a phone call on my handy dandy phone here. See, it's going to pause while it writes that big long task prompt as we've specified in our instructions. So it can pause for a little bit, make sure it's written out quite a lot and you'll see just how much it's filled into that task prompt to really guide it in, in terms of how it should be behaving on this phone call. So we can pop this down here. There we go. Hi Josh, my name is Nina, Liam's assistant. We have this full prompt that's been written out, which is in line with the bland documentation on how to write these prompts. So now I should be able to confirm this and it will get a call here on my phone. Hi Josh, this is Nina, Liam's assistant. I'm calling to ask if you'd be interested in having lunch with Liam next Monday in Dusseldorf. He suggested Elmo's Bakery around 12 p.m., but he's flexible up to an hour either side. He mentioned he can only do Monday. Do you think that would work for you? Yeah, could we do 1 p.m.? Liam can accommodate within an hour of the proposed time, so 1 p.m. at Elmo's Bakery will work perfectly. He looks forward to meeting you there. Perfect, thank you. Bye. And there you go, we've been able to successfully send a caller from our GPT to the photo of, in this case, my business partner. I'm asking me to confirm something. So this is obviously just a start. I'm not trying to show you all the different use cases in this video. I'm just showing you how you can create a custom tool for your GPTs, for your custom GPTs, whether you want to use this as a personal assistant or whether you want to build this into your systems and start to use these outbound calling capabilities within your builds as well. And as you can see here, it's actually used the other fetch transcript tool that we provided when we set up our tool. And it's given me a breakdown of it saying, I've successfully contacted Josh and he's agreed to have lunch with you and next Monday in Dusseldorf. He requested it could be at 1 p.m. at Elmo's Bakery. Based on your flexibility, I confirmed that it will work. So then we get the transcript back. That's actually part of the prompt where after the call is complete, can you please give me a summary of what happened? So yeah, check out the prompt, check out the schema. I've done all the hard work for you here to make sure this is outputting the kind of responses you want. So yeah, go have fun with it. Use it for your personal use. Start to put in your own solutions, whatever you want to do. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit down below and leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. If you're interested in learning about other AI voice use cases like setting up a customer support phone line for your business or for your client's business, you can check out my other video here that's very short and sweet with a custom knowledge base. But aside from that, guys, that's all for the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.